Have you ever had the feeling that history as it is presented to us doesn't truly really make sense or there are some glitches in the timeline? Well, if you did, then you're going to like this video because I'm going to show you some proof how they erased thousand years from history just like that. Coming up. It was this video that actually first started me researching this topic and this is where I got to know about the trick they used to erase a thousand years history and if you want to check this out then I highly recommend um, this stage century, centuries um, part one to part three by live creations so I'm going to link this video in the description so let's get into this first of all let's talk about Jesus Jesus is a figure that was invented and he have never lived there is no proof that he lived and there are so many contradictions in the Bible that makes this uh, figures life highly unprobable so if you go down on this Wikipedia article and go down to uh, etymology, you will see that this um, Jesus character was a Jew and had only one name and so on. But the interesting thing I want to show to you is how it is in the original Greek. Because what we have now in the New Testament is Greek. So some people say that originally it was Jew, uh, it was Hebrew, it should have been if it was real, but since it wasn't real, I believe Greek was the original language, it was written in Greek. And this is the name that is written in Greek, which is transliterated to English as this. So this is ESOs, okay? Obviously, this name has been then anglicized to Jesus. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And his title was the Anointed One, which is in Greek, Christos, transliterated to English as Christos. But this is the word in Greek. Now, the important thing is the first letter, J. And then here, I. And here it's X. So these three letters are very important because we know that this fict uh, fictional character has been used to create a timeline for us that we believe is now 2019. Okay, so we are calculating our timeline from this Gregorian um, calendar and they used the life of Jesus or the um, basically his um, uh, birth and from them we count our timeline, okay? From a fictional character, okay? And <clears throat> so we could say we are calculating our timeline from J or from I or from X, right? From Christ or from Jesus or from ESOs in the Greek. Now I want to show you another proof. Here's Blue Letter Bible, which is a... Um, um, Bible, Bible where you can see the Greek or the Hebrew original next to the English and here it is Christ Christos with the X and Jesus is not really the one that is written in the Greek but as you can see it is ESOs with the I okay so here's your proof you can have a look at it I will link these in the description of the video now I want to show you this guy called Abraham or Thelius who was a um, creator of the first modern atlas and it was called Theatrum Orbis Terrarium what a great name it is a theater of the world basically so this guy lived from 1527 to 1598 or 1598 did he really? Let's check it out. So let's open Abraham or Telius and this is one of his map. I want to show you this. So 
Orbis Terrarium and I think this must be the theater. I don't speak Latin, but I think it is probably Latin. So, okay, now if you go and look at the bottom of this map, this is where the interesting thing is, because it says the date. The date is J574. It doesn't really look like an, a, a 1, does it? It really looks like a J, which is for Jesus. So basically, it wasn't 1574, 1574, it was 574, and our nice and clever and smart historians who wanted to mislead us to believe we are in, one we are in 1574, they translated the J as 1, but it truly isn't. Let's look at the next one. This is his auto map. Maris Pazifici, <laughs> or how it is called, I don't know exactly how it is pronounced, but here is the deal at the left corner. Okay, so here's the date. I589. Does this really look to you like a one? It doesn't look to me like one. It is an I. So it is 589 after ESOs, okay? Nice. Let's look at our next subject. This guy is called Levinus Hulsius. Again, these names are really difficult to pronounce, so I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing them correctly, but I'm trying my best. This guy apparently lived in 1546 and died in 16. 06, okay? And he was also a publisher, printer, linguist, and lexicographer. And, and I think he was also a cartographer. Okay, so let's look at his work. Levinus Halsius. Let's open that folder up. And here is a map by this guy. And... Um, Let's look at the year, shall we? It is now at the top. This is clearly an I, not a 1. So again, it was 598 after ESOs. Okay, so you see how they are inventing a thousand years here? I, again, and I, again, and all the years here start with an I instead of a 1. No problem, let's go to the next one. This guy is called Nicolas van Gilkerken. Sounds like a Dutch guy. And he apparently lived from 1585 to 1656. And he was a cartographer, and I think this is in Dutch, so that's why I can't even read what is written here. But I, I can see cartograph and I can see the date. Okay, so let's go to his folder. And if you open up his map, then we'll see the same thing. Okay, so this is his map. I just wanted to point it uh, to the middle. That's how it looks like. And if you go here, zoom in here, America, you will see a J. 499 J587 and if you go to the other side here it's even a separated I don't I, I don't want to zoom in too much because then it is too pixelated but here you can see the J and it's quite separate from the 632 so I mean you can clearly see this is not a not a one, right? It's clearly a J or I. Okay, so next subject is going to be August Ludwig von Schlözer, and this guy lived from 1735 to 1809. He was a German historian, 
and he was studying Russian history. Okay, and apparently, this picture was taken in 1779. So, let's look at his folder. August Ludwig von Schlözer. And here is an interesting picture that I found, which is another portrait of him. But if you look at this date, you can see the eye and even a dot above the eye. So it is clearly not the one. So it is I-735. And here again, I-798. So this guy lived in 736, 798. These are the dates and this um, his date range, not 1700. So the one is invented, 1000 years clearly invented. Next one is Adam Olierius. Olierius. This guy apparently lived from 1599 to 1671 and he was a German scholar, mathematician, geographer and librarian. Okay, so let's look at his folder. Adam Olerius, this is from this um, image here from Wikipedia and look at this, this is the guy um, or who knows maybe this is not the guy but um, this is related to him let me check actually Russian Boyer from one of Adam Olerius books so he this is one of his books it seems okay so one of his books and if you look at this closer we can clearly see the eye here I 656 this is not the one this is not 1656 it is I for ESOs 656 interesting so let's have a look at the next subject who is Petrus Plancius Plancius or Plancius and he was a Dutch Flemish astronomer cartographer and clergyman he lived from 15 to 56 to 1622 really let's have a look at his folder Petrus Plancius Plancius okay so he has a nice map as well it seems and this is the map and 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 here we go let's look at the date can you see the date here this is clearly an I you can see the curve from top and at the bottom this is not a one this is an I 594 so yeah that was him now let's look at the last subject which is which is um, Pet Caerio Pet Caerio okay so I have his um, his map here but it's not very good quality I would say and that's why I wanted to show you this other link that I found I'm not even sure where it was let me check yeah here it is so here at America we can see Anno Domini so it's clearly about the date and this is I-492 and I-499 but it's not really clear here so let's have a look this is the same map I found on BLR raremaps.com so I will put this in full screen and I'm going to zoom in here and you will see it clearly this is not an I this is sorry this is not a one this is clearly an I you can see the curve at the top and at the bottom again here this is an I I for ESOs 499 and if we get out of the full screen we will see that this was actually published 
was supposed to be published in 1608 or 1628. I'm not sure why the difference here in brackets. But clearly the 17th century and here you will see that the date is I not 1. So clearly they have been playing mind games on us and just like that hit a thousand years and for a certain reason because if we are disconnected from our history and we believe a certain narrative we can be manipulated that's what I believe but there could be other reasons and I would be interested what your thoughts on this is so see you on the next one